Translation, we're going over properties of rational numbers today. We're going to review commutative and associative property, and then we'll get to the new stuff. And here's the new stuff, the identity property of addition. Essentially, if you add zero to a number, you're going to get the same number. Identity property of multiplication, if you multiply a number by one, you're going to get the same number. It's basically that simple. Next is the inverse property of multiplication, uh, which is the product of a rational number and its multiplicative inverse is 1. Yay. Essentially, what that is, is if you take a fraction and you multiply it by its multiplicative inverse, or otherwise known as a reciprocal, you're going to get 1. So, here's an example. Wait for it, wait for it, there it is. 3 fourths times... That's reciprocals, four thirds, and that's going to equal one. If we look at a mixed number, here our mixed number is going to be one and three fourths. The first thing we have to do is make it an improper fraction. So one and three fourths as an improper fraction is seven fourths. From here, we can multiply by its reciprocal, which is four sevenths. So the reciprocal for 1 and 3 fourths is actually 4 sevenths, which will give you 1. 